Hey there, today I would like to share with you the ChatGPT extension. This extension allows you to harness the power of OpenAI's famous ChatGPT chatbot. Let's have a quick overview and see what we can do with it. You will find plenty of um, ChatGPT extensions when you search a marketplace, but I'll go with this one, ChatGPT by Ali Genchai, as it has more high rated reviews. Let's go ahead and install it. All right, now let's search for the instructions of how to log in. Here it says that we have three options. Let's go with the recommended one and proceed with the login. On the left side of the screen, in the activity bar, you'll find a new ChatGPT icon. Click on it and a new window will pop up. Don't mind the white boxes on my screen, I think there's some compatibility issue with the theme that I'm using. You just have to click the login button. A new Chrome browser will pop up and you'll have to authenticate yourself. I'm just gonna skip this step. Once you're authenticated, make sure to leave the browser open as long as you want to use ChatGPT extension. If you close the browser, the extension won't work anymore. Now is the time to try out the functionalities of the extension. Here is some basic JavaScript code. As you can see, the code is valid and it runs. By selecting the code and scrolling down a bit on the menu, um, you will see that the extension will give us some quick actions such as asking ChatGPT to add tests, um, find bugs, optimize and explain the code. Let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to optimize this code. As you can see, a new window will appear on the left side of the screen uh, that contains our question and now we're gonna have to wait for ChatGPT to respond. You can notice that one clear downside if you're using this approach of talking to ChatGPT is that it takes a while to get a response. So you may be better off asking ChatGPT directly in your browser. Great. Now that uh, it worked, we do have some optimization here. It says that we can use the reduce method instead of for each. Well, let's go ahead and try it out and see if it works. I think we're going to have to clear this out. Yeah. Save it, press F5 again. And yeah, we have the same result. Before we end up this video, I'd like to emphasize to not rely solely on answers provided by AI tools as they may not be always correct, especially in situations where there is a single correct answer to a question or a problem. Always use your judgment before you copy and paste pieces of code like I did <laughs> just now. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, that was it, I hope you enjoyed the video and stick around this channel because I will post more zero cost tutorials like this one. If you have any feedback, comments or concerns, leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to respond to all of them. See you in the next one.